Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Today I'm gonna be doing a flat twist out. I haven't done one in a little while. So um, I've already got my leave-in conditioner in. I've got my hair in three sections. So I'm gonna start with this back section. I've got my spray bottle, just in case my hair starts to get dry it out but this is what my hair is looking like my color is starting to fade it's growing out quite a bit all right so what i'm gonna do is basically just take small sections i'm just gonna use my fingers to part not trying to make anything too perfect um i'm going for a lot of definitions so i'm going to make my sections pretty small so there's going to be a lot of um, flat twists. So all I'm gonna do is once I've got my section, I'm gonna take my fine tooth comb and just make sure it's all detangled. This is the only time that I use a fine tooth comb is when I'm doing really small sections and I wanna make sure that it's completely um, detangled, not free, um, or when my hair is straight, I'll use it. All right, so got everything all combed out. Gonna take a little bit of gel on my fingers, smooth it over. And this is what's gonna give me my hold. Work that all the way through from roots to ends, especially the ends, because we do not want frizzy ends. And what I'm gonna do is you're gonna start like you're doing, almost like you're gonna um, corn rub, but instead of three sections, you're gonna use two. So I'm just gonna take this top part here, split it into two, I'm gonna twist, Twist again, and then this time I'm gonna add a little bit of hair as I go down. Hopefully you guys can see this. And just twist and add hair until I don't have any hair left to add. And you see it's not like super tight right here, so sometimes I'll go back and do that part again. It's just because of the way like my hairline is, it's hard sometimes to keep it super um, even all the way down the twist, but it'll be fine. So it might not get all the way close, but it's better. You can't really see it now. And then once I can't add any more hair, I'm gonna go through and comb it out again, and then just twist all the way down. And then when I get to the end, like when I can't really work my fingers to twist much more, I'm gonna take, comb out those ends just to be sure that they're nice and detangled. And I'm gonna take a little bit of gel on the ends and I'm gonna twirl it around so it has a nice, little coil, see that? That's where I'm gonna go. And pull down my next section. And again, not using a comb or anything apart, just kind of freehanding it. Not making the sections too big. So this is about how big the section is. And again, just gonna make sure that's nice and detangled, starting from the ends and working my way up. Making sure those roots are nice and detangled as well. Adding some gel. And 
and I like my definition to be all the way from the roots to the end so I do make sure I put a nice amount of gel on the end I mean on the roots as well again let's see if I can turn so you can see it's gonna take a little section at the top split it in two twist twist again and begin to pick up hair I usually use the index finger on my right hand to kind of section off what I'm pulling in, if that makes sense. I'm just trying to keep it tight to the scalp as best I can. And again, I've twisted all the way down, added all my hair. I'm just going to comb that out, make sure everything is staying nice and detangled. And as I'm going down my twist, I'm smoothing my hair. Because when you do a twist out, braid out, anything like that, you want it to all be as smooth as you can get it. Helps with definition and just the overall look at the end when you get ready to unravel. So that is my second twist. And I'm just gonna go ahead and keep going all through um, both sections here in the back. And then I'll come and show you the front and hopefully you can see um, how I'm twisting it a little bit better. All right, so I've made it to the front of my head. Um, I went ahead and made my part on the left hand side and you might be able to tell some of these I made kind of short instead of running them all the way down. And that's just because it makes it a little bit easier when it's time to unravel and then make all of this kind of blend so I don't have any harsh um, partings um, and everything just kind of lays like it's supposed to. Um, and another part of that is how I actually install the twist. So in the back, you know, I went just kind of straight back. Um, but here, I kind of put them at an angle just a little bit. And then on this part here, since the section is bigger, um, on the other side of my part, I did go ahead and um, split it just a little bit. And I have these twists kind of going down at an angle. And then these ones in the front, or this section right here, I'm going to have them come at an angle here. And that's because I want my hair kind of over my forehead, kind of in my face a little bit so when you're doing um flat twists it's very important that you know how you want your hair to lay so that you know how to actually install um each of your twists and you'll just learn better about your placement the more that you do it so this last section over here um what i'm going to do is make sure i get a good amount of gel here on the edge because what I want is, you know, if the wind blows or something, I want those edges to be nice and clean and crisp. And when I actually like unravel my twist, sometimes I'll go ahead and um, style my edges as well. But I just make sure that while I am twisting down and grabbing hair, I'm making sure that I'm gripping my edges. Nothing tight that's gonna like pull them out or break them off or anything, but just enough to know that they're secure in the twist and that they will set nicely. And then again, just twisting all the way to the end. Coming out and add in a little bit of gel for hold. And that's it. You can see it looks pretty good. And again, I'll probably just style them when I get ready to take this out anyways. All right, and so for this last section here, like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and bring them forward. And I'm just gonna part that. 
Even though I'm not using a comb to part, I am trying to make sure that it is kind of sort of straight <laughs> um, and that it's clean. I don't want to be pulling hair from all every which way, making it all tangled and so you get breakage and all that. I am gonna add a little bit of water. This part is pretty dry. Make sure it's nice and detangled. Gonna add the gel. And I've got all my twists installed the same direction. So over here, I'm twisting towards my face. And on this side, I'm twisting away from my face. That's just gonna make sure that the curls are uniformed on both sides. All the way around. Again, making sure that I put some gel on those edges so that they pull up into the twist nicely. And again, just starting at the top of the twist, splitting it into two sections. Try to make them kind of even if you can. If not, it's not a huge, huge deal, but two pieces. Twist, twist again, and then I'm gonna begin picking up again using my index finger to guide what I pick up. And I'm not lifting my hands too far away from my scalp because I want it to stay nice and flush. Making sure that when I get to the edge here that I am just pulling them in nice and tight. Not too tight to break it off, but just tight enough for it to stay. I'm gonna go ahead and Comb out just a little bit. And do you guys see all that shine in my hair? Ooh. Hair is nice and healthy. Shine is a pretty good indicator of that. All right. And that's it. So I'm gonna go ahead and I will speed through these the last two here. I'm going off. Just going to kind of speed through these last couple of twists. And then I'm just going to go through and take my GS Bastidora oil and run that in, in between all of my twists and lightly massage that in. So this is my hair all twisted up. And I'm just gonna let it air dry and then I'll be back to unravel. <laughs> 